So it is 2023 and we are definitely living in a sort of changing world. AI, recessions, changing landscape, everything is definitely not the same as two years ago when I myself started learning to code. I think that despite all of these things that are happening, 2023 is possibly the best year ever to learn to code. Even if AI takes over, guess what? AI is built using code. So if you wanna be the one replacing jobs rather than the one being replaced, you want to know how to code. And if you're gonna say, but oh, there's a recession, so there's not gonna be any jobs. Well, that's precisely why this is the exact moment when you should be learning the code because once the recession passes, you will be in a position to capitalize on that. Despite all of this, these new trends are absolutely changing the way we should be thinking about learning the code. And simply doing what has worked in the past is not necessarily going to be the best way forward anymore. So with that, here are my six principles of learning the code in the ever-changing world of 2023. Making this video right here is kind of nostalgic for me because it's now almost exactly a year since I started this YouTube channel where I talk about my journey of learning the code. And the platform where I started taking my first ever coding courses and thus my coding journey is Coursera. So I'm absolutely delighted to say that Coursera are actually sponsoring this video right here. So throughout these six principles, I'm gonna be talking about how Coursera can help you learn to code faster and some of the courses that I have personally taken than that I recommend you take in your journey. So principle number one is to pick a focus. In 2023, just like always, you don't want to be a jack of all trades, but a master of none. I get it. I honestly do. If you're like me, you want to learn all the languages and like all the tools because all of this is so interesting, right? But if you want to be excellent at anything, you don't want to try to learn everything, unfortunately. You want to pick something to be really, really good at and then focus on that one thing. And it's fine if it takes you a while to figure out what that focus is. Like for example, I have learned a bunch of different languages, but through that and the purpose of trying all of these things was so that I could figure out what was the focus that I eventually wanted to focus on, which is sort of like Python and backend development and things related to that. So then the question is, what are the best programming languages to learn in 2023? The more I think about it, the more I realized that in 2023, freelancing is actually a much, much better career path than like getting a normal job. You get much higher pay and there's also more and more opportunity in freelancing. So that's why if I was starting over in 2023, I would specifically look at what are the skills that are most useful and most in demand in freelancing? As we're looking at some data from Upwork, it seems like the best opportunities are in areas like mobile app development, data slash machine learning related tasks, cybersecurity, and web development, especially backend and full stack development. But if I would give a recommendation of one language to learn, it would still be Python. There's still a huge trend in programming towards Python. So to learn Python, my recommendation is to take the same course that I took in the beginning, which is Python for everybody. It's the most popular Python course like in the entire internet. And after that, the same teacher, Chuck Severance, has several continuation courses like Django for everybody and a bunch of other ones which you can continue with. Web and mobile development, Coursera has introduced some professional certificates such just the meta backend and front-end professional certificates, as well as the iOS and Android professional certificates, which looks pretty exciting to me. And again, it's fine to try a bunch of these, but eventually you wanna pick your focus, pick what you want to focus on in your career. Principle number two is to learn how to learn. This right here is like the biggest reason why I actually started this YouTube channel. It still baffles me how almost no one spends any time like figuring out how to actually learn things effectively. It's like seriously, when you learn how to learn, you learn how, like, how the neuroscience of how your brain actually learns things. You can literally learn anything. This is like the biggest superpower you could ever have, but people are just not thinking about this enough. They're just going with the things that they learned at school because that's what they did and even though it didn't really work at school, it was just assumed that, well, I guess because our teachers told us to do this back in freaking third grade, this is what we need to do. No, there's a lots and lots of science nowadays that has literally shown us exactly what you should be doing if you want to learn the skills much, much faster. And for that reason, I think for anyone who's learning to code or learning anything period, which is like everyone, an absolutely mandatory course that you should be taking is learning how to learn powerful mental tools to help you master tough subjects. Most people just don't realize that learning itself 
is a skill that you can learn because then that skill can help you learn whatever else you want to learn in your life so much faster. For example, you might think that highlighting text in a textbook is an effective way to learn because that's what you always did at school, right? Wrong. To learn effectively based on the science, the things that work are recall, taking a couple of minutes to summarize or recall material that you're trying to learn, testing yourself regularly. So pretty much going through the uncomfortable process of testing your own knowledge, interleaving different problems. So because the thing that happens when you're working on one subject, on one problem, the things you're learning sort of go into your short-term memory, but it's never actually placed into your long-term memory, which is where you want it to be. So by interleaving two different things, it's sort of forcing your brain to work harder to remember the things that you were doing before, which is uncomfortable, but like, this is actually good because it solidifies these things in your brain. So it's just like a brief overview of why that thing works. And taking regular breaks to allow your brain to consolidate information. And again, you've probably heard that sleep is important, but it turns out that the science is pretty clear that taking breaks and resting is actually super important because that's when this information is actually going inside of your brain. So these are the, some of the things that most people just don't realize about the science of learning. And if you take this course on Coursera, the science of learning, you're gonna learn all of these in much more detail and a lot more. It's literally the highest ROI skill that there is in this world. So just go take this course, please. Yeah, you can probably see that I'm quite passionate about this subject. Next principle. Principle number three, be practical. In 2023, learning details like how to write a server in Python or how to use decorators is going to be much easier and much faster for anyone to learn because of AI. So that is why I think it's more important than ever, like it was always important, but in this year is even more important to be practical. Sort of what I mean by this is, you want to learn the absolute minimum that you need to learn to be able to do something and then just use the skills to start building something and you learn the details along the way. This is actually how you avoid one of the most common problems that we people fall into, which is falling into this tutorial hell where you just watch tutorial after tutorial after tutorials. When you're just watching tutorials, the things that you are taking in are not actually sticking because sort of going back to the previous point of learning principles that people don't understand. When you just take in information your brain isn't designed to sort of stick to information that you're just taking in your brain is designed to make information stick when you're trying to use it and when you're trying to take it out like for example right now i've started my first startup for building this like budget thing i have no idea how to do all the things that i will need to do for it but it's okay because i'm gonna learn it along the way as i go but of course you also don't want to stop learning so what i would do in 2023 if I was to start over, you go on this like sort of learn, apply, learn, apply, repeat cycle. You learn something. So in the beginning, you learn the basics of a language, then you apply it to a basic project. Then once you sort of got the basics down, you go and learn something a bit more advanced. Maybe you go into a different area or something a bit more specialized, like you learning AI or something. And then you apply those skills to the next thing and you just sort of keep going deeper into sort of learn, apply cycle. Principle number four, don't be a monkey coder. There used to be a time when you could simply learn simple HTML and CSS and make good money like freelancing online or something like that. But in 2023, you obviously, and even 2022 before this, you we can't do that because we already have technologies that sort of replaced that. We have WordPress, we have this Squarespace. And to me, this is sort of exactly how this automation of coding with ChatGPT is really gonna look like. There will be some tasks at the bottom of the complexity hierarchy, AKA these monkey coding tasks that will become redundant. So what you need to do is keep your skills up to date to stay useful in this new world. And the way you actually do that is by having an understanding of things like software architecture, computer architecture, design principles, like how programming languages work and many, many different things. I've learned all of these by taking courses like Nando Tetris, uh, by this one about algorithms, or this specialization about design principles. All of these will be linked down below in the description, by the way, so like, don't worry about that. And also if you watch it till the end, I actually have like a full template that I've made that you can use to like do essentially like a whole computer science degree. So, so if you're interested, definitely watch till the end. Principle five, use AI to your advantage. There are two ways in which you could react to this new rise of AI. Option number one, is to reject it. Ignore and complain about it because, oh, this is scary. Oh, this is gonna replace us. Or option two, you can embrace it and realize that AI is here to stay, whether you like it or not. So you might as well learn it and use it 
to your advantage to get ahead of all of these option one people who are rejecting it because they're afraid of it. It's incredible how fast this tool can just help you solve bugs or any issues you're having. Like just the other day, I was trying to write a server in Python and I couldn't really remember how to do that. So I, first of all, I just asked ChatGPT to do that and it just gave it to me. And then later on, I was having some issues and I didn't know why the code wasn't working. I didn't really understand the error code. So I just gave ChatGPT the code and I just said, please fix. And it fixed it and it worked. This is like literally insane. Because while it might not be able to write like a very complex application yet, what it can do is help you write that boilerplate code to have something on the page that you can then start iterating from. You can literally just with the help of ChatGPT build some pretty insane portfolio projects for your resume, then apply for jobs and get a job much faster now because you have this tool that can help you. And most people don't realize this yet. So you need to start using this now. I think just to future proof yourself, it is very useful to actually learn the basics of artificial intelligence and of machine learning learning by doing, for example, the same course that I did, which is Coursera's Machine Learning Specialization by Andrew Ng, who's like the top like number one machine learning teacher like in the entire internet. Again, if you look back to the first point of choosing your focus and what I said about freelancing and the types of skills that are gonna be relevant in freelancing, if you look at it and you look at like the hourly rate based on the type of freelancing, freelancing job, from most things that I could see, it's AI and machine learning related things that have the highest rate. They don't have the same number of opportunities yet as something like web development but i think in the future these new opportunities are just gonna increase and increase and increase if you want to future proof yourself the number one skill to learn is artificial intelligence so principle number six is something that you might not exactly expect but it's something that i wanted to add in here because the biggest thing that i've learned from being a software engineer myself is that being a good software engineer is not just about being like a nerd programmer. You also need to be a really good communicator, as in you need to be able to communicate what you are coding to humans. Most software engineers, and I'm literally gonna like call out everyone in my team, most software engineers, while they are probably good programmers, they can be terrible communicators. This like stereotype of the nerd programmer who's just like a good coder, but not very sociable and all that. It can a lot of the time be true. So if I was starting to learn the code again, I would pay special attention in also building communication skills, so like human skills. And a great course you can take to learn this is Wharton's Improving Communication Skills that talks about things like how to cooperate with your colleague, how to build trust, and how to be more persuasive and things like that. And one last thing I would do if I was starting over in 2023 is check out my free online computer science degree template, which is gonna be a link down below in the description where you can like download it. It's essentially this full template that I've built for myself back in like when I myself started learning to code. It's the subject of one of the first videos that I made on this channel. One of the things that actually made my channel go viral. And finally, just on AI, I think we don't quite yet even realize just how much these new tools like ChatGPT are really going to change our life. And I found five specific ways in which I've been able to use ChatGPT, not just for coding, but in my everyday life to like automate boring tasks and just make my life easier. And I went over them in this video right here. So definitely check that one out next. With that, don't forget to like this video if you like this video and I'll see you here in just a moment.